I've got three kids and I've had two of them, uh, two of them through the hospital. Sophie here has got uh, mild cerebral palsy, um, so she's been down to the hospital a few times for, uh, for scans and, uh, and she's been through the gate lab uh, at, the, uh, at the hospital there a couple of times and um, I know a lot of the money from the Royal Children's Hospital Appeal goes to the gate lab. There's um, a substantial amount of money going there this year for new cameras and facilities in, in the gate lab which helps them uh, diagnose kids with uh, mus muscular uh, disorders. For me as a parent it's important to see uh, the money go into the hospital so they can improve their facilities um, so that uh, um, while we, we might be fortunate enough to not have any um, serious um, uh, problems with our kids, um, other parents yeah, have, have had more um, traumatic experiences so if, um, if we can make those, um, those kids' lives a little bit, uh, a little bit better and, and make the parents' um, lives a little less stressful then yeah, that'd, that'd be great. About four or five years ago um, we found out that Jasmine was diagnosed with uh, a condition called neurofibromatosis, uh, which is a genetic disorder. Um, so we've been down to the children's hospital several times a year for different scans and different uh, appointments and checkups with specialists down at the hospital uh, to monitor her condition. Um, and then about a year and a half ago, unfortunately, uh, one of the issues we had was a vascular issue in, in Jasmine's brain. And she started to be symptomatic with having uh, what they call TIAs, which are like mini strokes. She um, ended up needing to have uh, some surgery on her brain to, to fix that vascular issue and uh, so we spent a week down there with the, the surgery for that and from that um, yeah it's been very successful and she hasn't had any instances of those TIAs anymore since then. I don't, don't think you can really say that they, anyone around the state doesn't know somebody who hasn't had a kid through the children's hospital. Um, the services that they do are just fantastic and they're world class. Um, and all the fundraising that happens, you know, it goes into the extra researching and, and stuff um, for the different different types of uh, issues that kids come up with these days. Um, so any any extra money for, for new equipment, uh, research projects, um, just other things for the kids to do activity-wise, um, you know, funding for the Starlight Room, uh, all that is just really, really important. It doesn't matter how much you can give, but just give whatever you can, because um, every little bit adds up, and it's also important to, to basically give that they can grow, because um, my daughter's one of the, the kids that will grow up because of it.